Hi, right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Tennis the Boy King Sid. You know what time it is. Patch no time. Let's get right into it. Hop right in. So as we all know, I'm doing this a lot later. So I've got most of my ranting and my very pissed off moment out of here. So I'm pretty calm about this. I wanna come at this level headed. So let's get to it. We got Alliance Raid Beta. Um I think this would be a nice addition. However, Netmarble has attentions to when they put things in beta, it never comes out of beta. And when they say something is beta, take it with a grain of salt because they're gonna they might hardly ever change it for years. So what do you guys see here? It's probably what you're gonna see and you're not gonna get nothing less. With that being said, I am halfway in and halfway out about this is because this looks like nothing but a well and well fested, you know, alliance thing. Like you're not really going to see much from this. It's just probably just going to be an alliance mode that gets rankings and probably gets you some, you know, contribution points. Yep, look at that alliance raise contribution. Uh, it just looks like another well thing. So. If you're somebody who is not in an alliance, or at least not one in the top of your alliance, then I highly suggest maybe try to get there. It is going to be very competitive. You're going to see a lot of whales switch over to storms. It's going to be a S fest. So I think that I'm going to give this alliance battle uh, a ten is hype, and one is not so much. I'm going to give it uh, a six. I think it's going to be a little bit. <laughs> It's teeter on average. I might give it a five, but we just know what. I think it's because it's a new game mode, and I'm just being cynical right now. So you never know. But it's moving on to the next thing. Now we got the epic invasion, Mad Titan. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know. Hype for this for me one. I don't care. This is going to be the same run through. You're gonna have Mad Titan badges, but for some reason. We get a weakness? Yeah, um, don't care. I'm going to move on from that. Sucks. We all know it's going to suck. The sparring court. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this. Looks like we can finally have a friendly dimension duels with our friends. So, what does that say? I think it is going to bring nothing to the game. <laughs> yeah, dude, this is, it doesn't matter, bro. It, it doesn't matter, like... If you were already doing PvP and you like PvP, this is just for you. But if you're somebody who did not like PvP, then you're still not going to like PvP after this. I don't know. Like, I see people, we did have people asking for this. So I won't knock it like that. But uh, for some reason, they just put these kind of things here. And they want to say increase your ability. But we all know this game is just pay to win up the Wahoo. So it doesn't even matter. This is just something for like bigger whales to like smack on smaller people and then the smaller people is talk starts talking ish and then they swear that they can beat the whale and then the whale is just like one v one me bro and then they're just gonna smack them down so um and i hope it's cross server i don't see anything that says cross server but we'll see we'll see i would say this is a five if it's not cross server however if it's cross server and I would say maybe a six or a seven, because if it's cross server, then you can battle anybody. And I think you know cross server smack talking would probably be a thing, especially if they have like little events to see like what server gets the most wins. I I can see them doing some things with that. All right, let's go to transmutation. All right, here we go. So a lot of agents who use the transmutation have specific hero in mind when transmitted. Okay. Currently, it is inconveniently designed as agents have to repeat transmutation to the item of design has acquired. Okay. With this upcoming update, we will add a feature that allows agents to choose the target's hero and automatically transmute until it has been acquired. Okay. So, um, now I may be wrong, but... I think, so is it, okay, so I'm going to say this, 
if this is where you can just pick on the character and you can go directly to them, I give it an automatic 10 out of 10 for sure. If they're just saying this is a mechanic where it's still RNG as hell, but you can just click on the character and it just rolls until it gets to that person, L. One. This is a one. This is either a one or a ten. That's how I look at it. One or a ten. Transmission to magic. We're almost four months in. No one cares. Congratulations. Magics, you all got your transmutation. But it doesn't matter because the people who aren't playing magic, they weren't spinning on her in the first place. So this transmutation, this transmutation is going to do much. All this is doing is for the jackasses who went out there and spent all that money on magic to get them two mil. And had delayed, he was delayed this and that will from happening because they wanted to keep spending like ass hats. Here we go. You can finally transmute and get that 2.5 magic up to 2.7. Let's go down here. Um, I think this is something I was asking for, but I don't know how they're going to design it. I think in a normal setting, I would be able to give this like an 8. But I think since we know who Marvel Future Revolution is and who Net Marvel is, I'm gonna have to ultimately give it a four. I think what this is gonna do is, cause now it's probably gonna incentivize people to go through the, you know, the actual campaign instead of doing the Pegasus base. So I feel like maybe if you go through the actual campaign itself, now you might end up at like 107 instead of 105. How? But if if this goes from you finish the campaigns and now you're at 105, but if you do it after this update and now you end up somewhere like 110, then I would give this an 8 for sure, for sure. But if it's only like 105 to 107 and you have to do the whole campaign, I'm going to have to give it a 4 in all honesty because, you know, yikes. So that's kind of how I am. Um... However, as you guys can see, uh, <laughs> training grounds is still going to be the best way to gain XP, so they're still trying to monetize it. Um, Yeah, that's something. Two. Automatic two. Crafting badges. All you can do now is craft lock badges. Awesome. Two. No one cares. Early level design, awesome. Okay, so they want to change New Stark City. That's fantastic for new players. If we were getting them, but we are not, unfortunately. So you get a one for this. Awesome, I don't really need to break this down because you guys seen it. These are my opinions. As you guys can see, we have 29 mad people. I don't know who the hell are these 26 people that's loving it, but 26 people loving it. <laughs> Congratulations to you guys. Most of you guys are probably just happy about the Lions battle in the freaking um duels, which I understand. I can see I understand that. But until then, keep it easy. Peace out. I'm out of here, dog. See ya.